Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be covering how you can improve your camera quality on Google Meet, so let's get right into it. I'll be using this article which covers the computer, Android phones, and iPhone and iPad devices, so let's get right into it. Now firstly, on the computer, you can change your camera or video quality in your system settings and you might want to decrease the video quality if you're experiencing issues such as video or audio delays and poor network connection and you just need to find the sweet spot that fits you best. You can also change the camera if you would like by going to to settings and video and selecting the camera that you wish to use if you have a higher resolution one you can also change the send and receive resolution options the send resolution is the resolution you send and the receive resolution is the resolution that others will send to you and you can change it to best fit your well quality that you wish uh, you can turn on video framing by going into google meet selecting a video meeting and before or during the call going into more and apply visual effects then clicking appearance and enable framing you can also recenter the video by going into uh, more options and reframe in the self view tile and in the more options you just go apply visual effects appearance and reframe you can also turn on automatic video lighting adjustment by going into more and apply visual effects and clicking appearance and adjust video lighting and you can also turn portrait touch up again through apply visual effects uh, which you can do either before a meeting or during a meeting by hovering over your self view then going into appearance enable, por enable portrait touch up and choosing either subtle or smooth de depending on the intensity that you want on android pretty much the uh, thing that you can do is just turning on portrait touch up by either choosing subtle or smooth through the effects tab and the same applies to iphone and ipad and that's pretty much all there is to it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys next time